class, in this video, we're going to continue graphing this rational function that we've been working on on other videos. Uh, in this particular video, is we're going to look for the x-intercept component of this rational function. Now, what is the x-intercept? Well, the x-intercept is nothing more than a point where your graph crosses the x-axis. Now, the step to do that is very simple. First thing we do is we just set our numerator equals to zero. We're going to use this simplified version of this function, okay, that we did in an earlier video. We're going to set this numerator equals to zero. Now that we've done that, we simply solve for x. Subtract 4 from both sides. x is equal to negative 4. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our x-intercept.